The Complaints Commission has published a damning report following an investigation launched in January 2012 to examine the application for grants of certificates of residence under the Immigration and Passport Act. The report, subtitled Game of Chance, says there was no obvious explanation why the applications of certain individuals were processed in record time after a relatively short period of residence, while a majority of others took years. It was discovered that it took an average of 7.9 years for the 11 applications approved in 2007, ranging in time of approval from 1 year to 21 years. The investigation also found that in August 2011, Cabinet approved grants to hundreds of applicants whose applications had not been reported by the board. In some cases, no applications had been submitted, yet hundreds of others were left in the pipeline without an explanation. The Complaints Commission started the investigation following a series of complaints by applicants who said they heard nothing about the applications for years after they submitted them, and in some cases they were asked to resubmit documents or to simply reapply. The investigation was aimed to establish what happens to applications after they are presented at the Immigration Department for consideration by the Immigration Board and then by the Cabinet, which makes the ultimate decision. According to a Complaints Commission press release, the investigation found that the policy announced in December 2004 that restricted applications to persons who had been ordinarily resident in the territory for a minimum of 20 years was unlawful. The press release stated that the Act did not empower the Executive Council in 2004 to make on its own such a far-reaching change to the Certificate of Residence regime. The investigation also revealed that the policy of December 2004 claimed to restrict the number of certificates granted each year to persons who applied after December 2002 to a maximum of 25 each year. The Act sets out two criteria for grants of certificates of residence to be issued. One, that the applicant is of good character and two, that he had in his application stated his intention of residing permanently in the Virgin Islands. Furthermore, the investigation found that the board had no authority to apply a test to applicants, which rated the applicants by a point system and included their scores on the test. It said the measures when applied by the Board of Immigration following instructions from the minister significantly slowed down the processing of applications and greatly retarded the submission of applications by persons who were otherwise well qualified to apply and contributed greatly to the finding that the applications stayed in the board part of the system for much longer than at the ministry and cabinet office. It was also found that the board was but poorly supported by a tiny status unit of one mid-level officer without clerical support. In the report, the Complaints Commissioner made recommendations to remedy the deficiencies. These include the board should at once cease to apply those aspects of the 2004 policy identified as unlawful. The government should take steps to get proper legislative authority for measures of immigration policy that it determines to be in the public interest. The board should be given adequate staff support to carry out its work on a timely basis. And when applications are turned down, the applicant should be told the reason or reasons in writing. The Complaints Commission says the investigation was completed earlier this year and the report delivered on April 8 to Premier Dr. Orlando Smith and to the Chairman of the Board of Immigration, Michael Anthony, for their consideration. The Commission also says copies of the report were supplied to the Governor and each member of the Cabinet, including the Attorney General. According to the statement, other recommendations were made and the Premier's office has indicated that work on amending the Immigration and Passport Act is ongoing and the recommendations would be taken into account. The Complaints Commission says it is waiting for the response, but it noted that government does not have to accept or act on the Commissioner's findings and recommendations. Sean Rose, JTV News.